Good morning, my fellow scientists. It's Friday, March 17th, 2017, and I want to talk a little bit about a conspiracy theory. Now, though, for those of you who know me, I actually have a real affinity for conspiracy theories. I find them really amusing. One of the juiciest examples of the conspiracy theory genre is the flat earth conspiracy. And it is a conspiracy theory because you can't assert that the earth is flat without asserting a huge number of people are involved in hiding the fact that the Earth is flat. Every engineer who worked on any phone with a GPS system must be faking that the world is round in order to do a different set of math and actually know where we are, right? So every phone engineer is involved. NASA, of course, every employee at NASA knows one set of math that calculates trajectories and star locations and planetary orbits, but they're telling a very different set of math to the world to hide the fact that the world is flat. So there are all these people who must be in on the secret. I googled long exposure equator stars, and people who take long exposures of the stars get images that look like this. I have put a link to this person's website in the description really pretty work. So this first image shows a fisheye lens view of the stars taken over a long time so the stars streak out across the image and they've focused the fisheye lens straight up so that you can see both the poles as the as the stars clearly have two central curvatures. Now that could be an artifact of the fisheye lens so they also have a panorama that they've set up with a virtual reality and that's just neat. If you were in Ecuador and you looked up at the sky and you looked to the south you would see one set of concentric circles as the earth revolved under the stars and if you looked in the other direction you would see a different set of concentric circles as the earth revolved under the stars. That observation is really hard to explain if the earth is rotating in a plane as opposed to around an axis. But of course, if you're conspiracy-minded, that doesn't make any difference at all. We're not constrained by reason. Put that up to the conspiracy. The conspirators clearly put this website up with these long exposure, faked long exposure photographs. This map shows where the sun is shining right now. And it looks flat. And it looks like the sun is hovering over Africa. A flat earther looks at this and says, yes, this is how it is. The earth is flat and the sun is hovering over Africa. That's why Africa is in daytime and North America and Asia are at night. Here's the thing. If you live in Texas or Louisiana, you can call someone in Korea. We have the technology and ask them, is the sun rising or setting? And they will say, it looks like it's setting. And then if you look, you will see the sun rising, which means that at some point, right then, both people, both parties, the Korean person and the Texan, are seeing the sun below the horizon. It's so just with a tiny bit of geometry. If we have a flat earth and both of us are looking at the sun and I see it downward and you see it downward that means that the sun is under the earth right there's no other way to do the math on, which means that under this view you could literally call someone and literally ask them what angle is the sun at and they can tell you and you can do a tiny bit of qualitative geometry and determine that the sun isn't hovering over africa the sun is under africa why in the world would we argue with the Flat Earth Society? It's pointless. They are not operating on a level of reasoned debate. Why would we engage? We should not be worried about whether someone believes something strange about objects in space, about the relative position of the Earth and stars. What they believe about that is irrelevant. But what people believe about authority is important because authority is a function of those beliefs and perceptions. So. If someone believes that the Earth is flat, they are ascribing authority differently than those of us 
who believe the earth is round. Those of us who believe the earth is round are ascribing authority to things like reason, geometry, and measurement. People who see the earth as flat are ascribing authority to something else. And that is dangerous. And educators need to remember that we are not authorities. The authority is the measurement and reason. President Obama said, we don't have time to argue with the Flat Earth Society. And I'm afraid I have to disagree with him. Uh, we don't have the luxury of not arguing with the Flat Earth Society. But we need to do it better. We need to tell people not that the world is round, believe it. We need to tell people that they can observe things for themselves. They can measure carefully and think carefully. That there is a reality out there to be observed. That we can all observe together, reproducibly. And that that can lead us all to reasonable conclusions. And if we differ, we can perform experiments to figure out the best course of action. So join me on Monday and we'll talk about uh, science and experiments and results here in the Allen Lab.